I think typically in sport programs, you start off in your first year and you get all the basic kit and then you move up to all the fancy stuff by the time you get to your third year. What we do at UCLan really, really well is you walk through the door on the first day and you're using all the fancy kit from day one. Uh, the other really important thing that we do here is we make sure that we give you real world industry focus from day one as well. So we have relationships with all of the professional clubs in all sports within the Northwest and we embed students from day one in those environments. And we have a system where in the first year you might just do some fairly basic data collection, move into the second year and you start to do a bit more advanced analysis and in the final year you're actually leading on the whole programme. So, uh, and, and hopefully by the end of that you get a job. So, you know, typically in sport, it's easy to get experience in grassroots, but it's really difficult to get experience in high performance environments. And we've got all that embedded across, across the region. Students would like to study sport, but also play sport at a decent level whilst they're at university. Um, and we want to create a, a, a great environment to play books, sport, British University and College Sport for us on a Wednesday, but then also kind of create partnerships so that we can have um, opportunities for students to play at weekends in a local infrastructure um, using partners of significance um, whilst they're at university. I've been to other universities and their tutors weren't really in the industry still, they were just lecturers. Uh, whereas here obviously I've mentioned Mark Stone, Ian Bentley, they're all in the industry. So just picking their brains about all how to get in there, networking, communicating, all that sort of thing. That's why I've sort of picked UCLan playing over in France and um, I got the nod to get uh, selected in the Wales squad we had training. Unfortunately uh, I had to have a bit of an operation so I had to miss out on the first friendly against France and the first training camp which was frustrating but you know factors happen. Uh, the boys went well um, and they're in good prep so we'll cup now and you know, we've got a training session this week at the end of the week so looking forward to just getting around the boys and seeing how it's all going. We should come out with an operation so um, like uh, my, uh, fitness, my match fitness and everything wasn't up to standards of what it was uh, when I first came back from France. And obviously I've come straight back here, straight back into training, getting around the lads. We've got a good squad here, so it's, it's really been beneficial to get my fitness and get, get ready for it all again. I'm on the foundation here, but I'm doing the sports coaching and performance. It's, it's for me, like sports coaching and coaching in general is always something that I've like enjoyed and I've earned respect off people, so it's always something I look to do as well as playing rugby. But strength and conditioning, I love, I love the course because all the knowledge I learn, I can apply in my day-to-day -day life, obviously, as someone who plays sport and is a fan of just exercise in general. Um, the knowledge actually goes a long way at home and in other settings rather than just your clan. And the, the tutoring team's quite, quite um, extensive in their knowledge, so it's good because it rubs off on all the students. Being a part of the scholarship programme was uh, very beneficial because um, I was on it last year and um, we had uh, physiotherapy and uh, we could have massages as well if he was um, like uh, hurting from the last game. And it was only about five, five, ten minutes from where I live. So when I wasn't with Salford, I was in there getting all the treatment. And it was all free as well. And you get the free gym, which helped me out at the start. When I first moved, I didn't really know much around. So I was in there all the time, really. I'm on studying sports coaching. Uh, the best bits would probably say how helpful all the tutors have been and all the, all the, all the lads on the course with me as well.